This is a very interesting question I saw on the internet. Solve for all real numbers a, b, and c such that a plus b equals 3c, a squared plus b squared equals 5c, a cubed plus b cubed equals 9c. What can we see? Three terms, three equations. The terms about a and b are all on the left hand side, and c are all on the right hand side. We can say that c is not negative. Why? Because According to our second equation, a squared plus b squared is always non negative. So 5c is non negative. That implies c is non negative. Now, let's solve it. But how? We have to find the relationships among these three left hand sides. The first one is a plus b and a squared plus b squared. What's their relationship? Now, we have the binomial formula. a plus b all squared equals a squared plus 2ab then plus b squared. Here, I'm going to write b squared firstly and then plus 2ab. Why? Because a plus b we know a squared plus b squared, we also know. A plus b squared, a plus is 3c, then all squared. A squared plus b squared is 5c, and then plus 2ab. So now, we can express a times b with a term about c. A times b is 9c squared minus 5c, then over 2. Now, it's the turn to a cubed plus b cubed. This guy, it can be factorized as a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. Of course, this guy we know, and this guy here, can be expressed. Of course, a plus b is 3c, then times a squared plus b squared is 5c. So it is 5c minus a b equals this is 9c. From this equation, we can get another expression for a times b. Now let's solve it together. Here we have 3c, here we have 9c. Maybe we're going to say we can divide both sides by 3c. But can we? Yes, of course we can. However, under one condition, just in the case that c does not equal to 0. What happens if c equals 0? Then this equation will also hold. It's true. That means c can be equal to 0. So if c is equal to 0, we can conclude very easily that a has to be equal to b, and they have to be 0. Why? a squared plus b squared equals 0, because a squared is not negative, b squared also not negative. However, their sum is 0, so that means a squared equals b squared equals 0. Therefore, a equals b equals 0. So now, we've concluded a solution. It is 0, 0, 0. So now, don't worry. Because we've concluded this one, this case, now, now we only have to care about the case that c does not equal to 0. In this case, of course, we're allowed to divide both sides by 3c. So a times b equals 5c minus 3. Now, we can acquire an equation about c. 9c squared minus 5c over 2 equals 5c minus 3. Then, a quadratic equation about c. 9c squared minus 15c plus 6 equals 0. 
What can we do here? Divide both sides by 3, that is 3 times c squared minus 5c plus 2 equals 0. Of course, then it can be factorized as c minus 1, then times c minus 2 equals 0. So that means c1 equals 1, c2 equals 2 thirds. So now we also get two cases. In our first case, if c equals 1, then a plus b is 3 times 1 is 3, and a times b is 5 times 1 minus 3 is 2. According to the formula of Vieta, a and b are the roots of this equation x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Fortunately, the left hand side can also be factorized. It is x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0. So x equals 1 or x equals 2. So that means x1 is 1, x2 is 2. <laughs> 1, 1, 2, 2. So that means a equals 1, then b equals 2. If a equals 2, then b equals 1. And in this case, c is 1. Here we will acquire two other pairs of solutions. a, b, c, they are 1, 2, 1, or 2, 1, 1. Of course, we also have our second case, if c is equal to 2 thirds. In our this case, it is much more complicated. The same method. a plus b is 3 times c, it is 2. a times b, it is 5 times this one minus 3. It is 1 third. What can we do? Another quadratic equation about y, for example. Then, solve for y, and you get two solutions, and you get the values of a and b. And in this case, you will get, I'll only tell you the answers, okay? The answers are very complicated. 1 plus square root of 6 over 3, 1 minus square root of 6 over 3, and 2 thirds. And the other one, the other one is 1 minus square root of 6 over 3, 1 plus square root of 6 over 3, and 2 thirds. Did you get them? So, five pairs of solutions. Did you get them? Did you get the method? Did you get the trick? Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye!